Definitely. What's the square root of negative 9? Exactamente. It's 3 times the imaginary number. Imaginary number! To find the square root of negative 9, we have to realize the negative sign indicates there is a negative 1 hiding in front of the 9. Our problem now reads the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 9. The square root of negative 1 is I, which stands for imaginary number. Imaginary number? That's right. In mathematics, the square root of negative 1 is always I. Now let's find the square root of 9. What number times itself equals 9? That's right! 3 times 3 equals 9. So 3 is the square root. That leaves us with our answer. 3 times I, which is the same thing as saying 3I. Yes, let's do another square root. What's the square root of negative 25? Since there's a negative sign in front of the 25, we know there is a 1 hiding there. We can now rewrite the problem as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 25. So what is the square root of negative 1? That's right! I is the square root of negative 1. We also have to find the square root of 25. What number times itself equals 25? That's right! 5 times 5 is 25, so the square root of 25 is 5. That leaves us with our answer. R -r 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 5 i Now we have the tools and knowledge to solve another problem. Yikes! R -r 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 I think so. Suppose we wanted to solve the square root of negative 25 minus the square root of negative 9. From our previous example, we learned that the square root of negative 25 was 5i, and the square root of negative 9 was 3i. So we are left with 5i minus 3i, and this gives us our answer, 2i. Piece of cake! <laughs> Let's change things around. Suppose we wanted to solve the square root of negative 25 minus negative 9. We see a negative 9 in parentheses and a negative sign outside the parentheses. With parentheses, whenever there is a negative sign outside and a negative sign inside, we can combine them to make a positive. On the other side, we have the square root of negative 25. From our previous example, we learned that this equals 5i. So our answer is 5i plus 9. Let's do one last problem. Suppose we had the square root of negative 9 minus a negative 25. This time, we see brackets surrounding negative 9 and negative 25. So this tells us we have to solve what's in the brackets first, before we can try to find the square root. Once again, we have two negatives, and we know that equals a positive. So we are looking at negative 9 plus 25. 25 minus 9 equals 16. We are now left with the square root of 16. What number times itself equals 16? That's right! 4 times 4 equals 16. So 4 is our answer. Math is an important subject to study. If you want to build or design things, you have to have a solid foundation in mathematics. Brain tofu.